hi welcome back to my channel i'm daniel and today we'll continue with the way this time episode 7 of the first season in the last episode renata got the fourth movement they only need one more uh hap was upset that uh, they don't let him play with them uh, so he went to visit his friend colleague leon Leon is also doing kind of the same experiment, but at one point he got angry with uh, Hap because uh, Hap is further into this experiment and he can discover something way more important than, than he will, so he pulled out a gun. And he was like, tell me your secrets. But Hap was like, no. So they had a little fight. Uh, but uh, by the end, at the end, Hap uh, drowned Leon, killing him. So that's that. Um, Prairie uh, is trying to get the, the last movement. She went to talk with Katun. Katun wasn't there, so she got nothing out of it. Just uh, Hap found out that, you know, she is traveling to this place where the, the sounds of uh, the rings of Saturn can, can be heard. So it is, by the, at the end, it is kind of a place, it's kind of like, you know, the a place in the universe, is the whole universe. Um, but he was happy about it, and he continued listening to, to the sounds. Until the officer came inside the, his cabin and saw the, uh, the prisoners. And he also pulled a gun on Hap, so <laughs> that's cool. Uh, I can't wait to see this episode. I can't wait to find out what's gonna happen next. Anyway, as usual, I got something to drink. The episode is ready to start, so without further ado, let's do this. Note? I forgot about the note. He doesn't know either. I know that it sounds nuts, but I feel that something terrible is coming. And and if I can just solve the puzzle of the premonition on time, maybe I can stop it from happening. These dreams occur at important junctures in your life. Are you gonna say that it's anxiety or stress no, no, or nothing so reductive? I'm just wondering if your subconscious is trying to help you out. But and... the bus dream did come true. Sure, but what is psychic just means your mind is able to pick up on even the subtlest cues in the world around you. Maybe your mind is picking up on all these cues and, and using these dreams to process them. I don't understand what it is, I don't know what it means, and I don't know what to do. Maybe this time just accept it. Whatever happens, just claim it. I can't. I feel like the pain is just too big. Hey, how big can the pain be, really? But she disappeared. Was there any note? A note? No. What? Prairie woke up screaming. She's had these night terrors ever since she was a girl. Our family doctor years ago prescribed medication. It didn't work. No shit. If I could suggest, it might be nice for you guys to do something together, something you might do if she were home from school or back after a long trip, uh, something to help normalize your family life. Thank you for, the, for that advice. I like your laugh. I laugh again, because that's so fucking corny. Did <laughs> get another kiss? Well, let me see some more of your shit first. Are you gonna dump pig's blood on my head at prom? Not unless you think that's hot. 
Okay, Carrie. Steve, you want to start us off? You want to take us to the second movement, Homer's movement? All right, uh, Homer's movement, the second, but really slow to start. You got to keep your wrists, like, just a little tighter, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I can't do that. I try, like, like you got rope around your wrist and you want to, like, break it. Sometimes you just got to tell yourself it's easy and then it'll feel easy, you know? Yeah, like forcing yourself to smile until you feel happy. I had to shell out $5,000 to the Breckhoffs. She had no idea how her son hurt his throat until she saw some subtweet online and Miles finally admitted that you punched him. He's out. He's going to that rehabilitation. Right, I'll get my thoughts in order and we can talk this out, right? In your place, you went in your NDE. Do you think that was purgatory? I don't think it was purgatory, but I don't think we can understand. The future's dark. Not dark like bad, just dark. Maybe living is just bringing light to what you need in a day. Just seeing the day. When we take you to Homer, I mean, what will happen? Will we, will we travel too? I don't know that I'm ready to go to another dimension. Oh, I don't think it's like that. The force of the movements done with perfect feeling just opens something that's already here. Like an invisible river that carries you away. You have to want to jump in. Damn, they were quick. I mean, I'm sure they he called them before Steven came home. I told you already, you shouldn't have called his parents. They turned around and called Asheville. You should have stayed out of it. I just think it's an extremely rash and frankly unprofessional reaction to a troubled boy. He broke a kid's throat, Betty. That was before. Can I take a picture with you? Why? She was blind. We're we having dinner. It'll just take a second. We are. Thank you. Um, you're such an inspiration, really. I I mean, to be beaten like that and raped, I can't even imagine. First of all, where did she got that? <laughs> Second, that was so disrespectful. Could we have one of those? Yes. <sighs> what do you mean? I found you. Oh, you fucking copy me. I'm freaked. I'm fucking freaked. I know, sweetie, I know. You're going to say you have to go to the bathroom. You say that they're molesting you. And you have to shout that no matter how embarrassing that sounds, okay, Steve? Then I'll back it up because I'm out of me in front of my own fucking parents and they stood there like I'm some rabid dog. I know, Stephen, I know. That man is molesting that boy! He's... He... He's molesting him! Who the fuck is she, bro? You hit her? No, man, she's fucking insane. Lady, we got papers signed by that kid's parents, all right? We're a reform school. Well, the last I checked, molestation is illegal in all 50 states. It's... $50,000. What? $50,000. It's $50,000, a cashier's check. I'll give it to you. Is this real? Just let him go. Yes. Do what? You picture online for all the world to see. Her picture is probably already online to let their imaginations run wild P people 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 getting off on this i don't know anything i don't know anything were you in the house were you outside i don't know anything why do you smell like that is that him do you smell like him what are these who did that to you i did there are two notations of the five movements to open another dimension I know because I am the original angel. Honestly, you need to get out of your own ways. Come on. What is it? Prairie? That was unexpected. Um, what I wanted to say? Oh, yeah. Original angel sounds a bit weird. You told us about the feeling you had when you 
realized he wasn't at the Statue of Liberty. And the feeling of relief when Hap was about how at first he felt like the father figure you were looking for and how you followed him into the dark. She never talked about Nessam ever. Scott, Rachel, Homer, and even Renata, we know we're taking their place. You never really told us about them. But they rescued you from a hard life. They medicated me. They thought I was crazy. They're not my parents. But they are your parents. My parents had me fucking kidnapped by those goons. You're just like all the rest of them. You don't give a fuck. We're just your slave labor so you can leave us for your fucking boyfriend. We're just a retarded pit stop for you. Don't fucking touch me, bitch! Help me do some fucking flips and build this guy? No. No. How did you survive so long down there? She wasn't alone. I survived because I wasn't alone. Tonight I will finish telling my story. Are you ready? I was ready. So that was a thing. Finally, in the next episode, I'm gonna find out how she managed to escape or what exactly happened that uh, she she managed to come back. Um, damn, one more episode of this season. And then just one more, one more episode, one more season. What a shame, damn. Um, but starting with Prairie, she had another premonition and I went back to, to look at it. And I think, I think I know what's gonna happen. Like, what's the the premonition about? Um, so there was this tray full of uh, spoons and knives and, and forks. Then the windows and some people. Then. Uh, a image of like tables and not chairs but more like benches and there were some screams and um, some sort of firearm and from all this i think it's gonna happen at school in the cafeteria Someone will come with a gun and, you know, put everyone in danger. <laughs> and, I don't know, I hope no one gets hurt. But I think that is the place where it's gonna happen. And now I'm afraid for everyone. <laughs> Every time she had a premonition, something important happened uh, the first one when i think this is the third the premonition that he had that she had the first one was when she was little with the bus that time she drowned she died and she saw cartoon and uh, she came back uh, and she lost her her sight the second one was with her father in New York in the Statue of Liberty. And even if she didn't met her father then, even if he, the, the cake didn't have the 21 candles, but 18, and I'm sure that's important as well why she, uh, he had 18 candles despite all that that's when she met Hap uh, he took her and she met um, 
the rest, Homer and Scott, Rachel and Renata, and that's when she found out about the the movements and you know that there are you know these dimensions and with those movements uh, they can open this sort of portals um and you know she she met homer a uh, person that she she loves and now with this one i think the the thing that is going to happen is that she will somehow manage to go to another dimension i don't know how I don't know how it works um but you know they have these movements that they they keep uh, learning and i don't know i don't think it's going to like gone go on to the next season without her being able to, you know, go to another dimension, because um, like the whole season were from the beginning, since she first talked with Stephen that she needs these people, it was all about um, saving Homer and you know going to. To another dimension to to save Homer. I don't know how. Again, I don't know how she's she's um, she'll be able to save Homer from another dimension. But maybe this is not like it's not. Maybe there is a connection, you know. And I do wonder what means going to another dimension actually, because. Leon was talking about like an afterlife, you know, the life doesn't end when you die, but you know, continue. So, I don't know, I'm afraid that how she's gonna die or something, and that's how she these dimensions work, but she also doesn't know either and doesn't know where she'll end up. So no, maybe she trusts a bit too much <laughs> that she'll be able to to find Homer by going to another dimension. I don't know. Curious. Um, also, that scene in the restaurant with Prairie and um, Abel and uh, Nancy. That was something... It was supposed to be something nice, but ended up being <laughs> something not so nice. Um, in a way, I understand Nancy. Not talking about the the slap, <laughs> because that was unnecessary. It didn't brought anything good, like. That was not the answer. Um, but I understand her... Her fear of what happened to, to Prairie. And she is scared and angry as well. Because she doesn't know. Um, Prairie didn't told her exactly what happened to her she didn't told her about the scars she didn't told her what Hap did um, I'm guessing it was because she thought uh, Nancy will never understand but also didn't want to I don't know scare Nancy more even more that uh, she's gonna you know feel sad and hurt for what happened to her daughter but by doing so 
letting living Nancy out of it, like completely in the dark. Nancy definitely made a lot of scenarios in her head, even worse than what Prairie went through. You know, I think she saw that the worst thing possible, you know, torture and <laughs> assault and all that stuff. That's why, you know, she was worried about the scars because, you know, the scars meant for for her that Prairie was you know, torture, tortured. And, and the one that hold her hostage, did that to, to her. Also, you know, Perry was talking about her parents medicating her. Um, again, I'm sure they, they thought that they are doing something good, that they are helping Perry. Um, you know, it was in good faith. They weren't trying to hurt her. It's definitely hard to believe, you know, what Prairie is saying. It might sound a bit crazy. And they saw that, you know, she has some... some problems, some mental issues, maybe some trauma because... Uh, her father um, died, you know, and they were trying to ease the pain, I guess. And she she was blind as well at that time. Uh, she was talking in her sleep and walking in her sleep. And, you know, they thought that by doing so, by giving them her medication, it's going to help her. It didn't help, you know, <laughs> by the end it didn't help, it didn't do anything, she was just, because again, you know, pills don't work, it's not that they heal, they just make you, you know, kind of numb, but the problem is still there, you know, <laughs> you're just like too tired to do anything, so... That's that. And I think now Prairie definitely resents them for what, you know, they did. But again, it wasn't to to hurt her. It wa was because they didn't understood. And, you know, they went to doctors. They It's not that they just went to the drugstore or, or pharmacy and, you know, just bought some pills. You know, they went to doctors and asked opinions or of what they could do best and that was the what they got that's that and no matter what you know I, I mean not no matter what but you know they they did everything because they really cared about her and loved her so it, it's a bit sad to to see her not considering them as um, her parents because they did raise her since um, she was a kid and really took care of her um, and loved her but that's that um, also Stephen uh, his father found out what he did and surprise he wasn't happy about it so they called uh, the guys at the um, the school there and took took him but uh, the um, Betty uh, gave them her her check that she got from her brother, 50,000, and uh, they let him go. 
<laughs> I, um, they have their priorities, I guess. Um, but he was angry. He was angry with the OA because he felt used. That uh, she doesn't care about them. And I mean, I, I, I'm sure she cares. It's not that she's only using them, but you know, she cares about them. Um, they are all, you know, closer to each other than it was in the beginning, them four. And um, they also got close to the prairie, but I don't know. I don't think it was her, like she did it intentional, but maybe they didn't feel the same, the same feeling coming from her. They are still feeling that are just I don't know tools for for her to be used and then you know left behind even um, French French Alfonso said that you know you know that we are just replacements um, and but again I I don't think it was her intention but. I think that's how she came up to them at least, you know, that she doesn't care too much about them. That's why Scott was, not Scott, Stephen, was so angry with, with her because they all got closer and he got closer to her. But now he felt helpless. Uh, he needed help and he definitely scared that he's gonna live somewhere I think he was always by himself and he dealt with his problems the way he thought it was better because he was you know alone he didn't have many friends and I don't think he got along with his parents either. And I think that's why he asked her how he how she managed to survive, you know. And it was definitely because she wasn't alone. She had other people to you know, share her misery and keep company and lift each other up, especially, you know, Homer. <laughs> And I think that's how, that's what, in a small way, what um, are are doing there, all of them, you know, trying to be there for each other and keep company when no one else understands you, you know, at least you have some people that, that they do. And it's all, it's bearable <laughs> to live, you know. Yeah, it was an interesting episode. Can't wait for the for the next. They didn't show the, the they didn't show up with that officer there. I was waiting for that. So yeah, I'm guessing in the next episode. Man, yeah, um, I stop here. I think this is all I have to say about this episode. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you next time. Bye.